Welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. Our very special guest, Will Johnson, the founder of UniteAmericaFirst.com. So glad to have you with us, Will. I'm glad to be back with you, sir. We've got so much to talk about, my friend. Let's start off. Well, in California, they've abolished the SATs. And there's a UCLA professor. He's in the accounting uh, department in the graduate school at UCLA. And the kids wrote to him and said, we shouldn't have finals because of George Floyd. And, and so he wrote back to this one student and he said, well, how am I going to grade you? And the, the student said, well, I'm black. I shouldn't have to do a final because I'm upset about George Floyd. No oh, black. Wow. I mean, this is where it gets good. No blacks should have to take the final. So the professor said, now I really don't know what to do. And the student said, why? And he said, well, this is a virtual class. I don't know who in my class is black and who's white. And what if someone is half black or black and Chinese or Asian or, or just white? How do I decide ethnically who doesn't have to take the final? That's all he said. There's now a protest and, a, and, a, and a, uh, a petition online with thousands of signatures to, to have fire this guy for oh being a racist. God. They oh suspended God. him from Oh, no, no, no. And he's no, out of the no, classroom. No, 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 no. A virtual classroom. There's no cameras. It's virtual. And he's supposed to ask, are you white? Are you black? What are you? Oh, my God. See, that just shows the insanity that we're living in. That is completely insane. Well, the guy was asking actually reasonable questions. Well, see, that's the problem. You can't ask reasonable questions any longer. You have to be like this stupid student. And, this, and, see this, and the crazy thing is he probably got that from another professor. Yeah, it's crazy, huh? It's sickening. The Anderson School of Business suspended this professor for his racist attitude. This is, this is completely insane. And now they're protesting. You say they're protesting against him because he asked a simple question. How am I supposed to determine if they're white or black? And then they want to make sure that white people be able, have to take the test and black people don't. So the black people that don't take the test, are they going to take the test later? Or are they just going to automatically do the curve and give them a grade, a passing grade, just because they're black? And so how is that not privilege? <laughs> how is I, that not privilege? How is it them not taking the test privilege? How much more privilege do you need? I, I, My I goodness. have no answer for you. My goodness. I mean, you know, screaming I, about white people have privileges, but yet who has all the privileges here? I, I would have been terrified when I was in college to ask a professor that and have him know my name because I would have been toast. You know, there's a lot of uh, professors right now. I, yeah, I'm the same way, especially the way I think now. If I were to go back, you know, just for any reason, go back to school and I have a professor and a professor find out who I am, I'm pretty sure that I have to do extra, extra, extra credit just to get a D because they will, probably won't even like me the way I think because I'm not thinking about the whole liberal socialist communist way. I mean, this is completely insane. And you know what a lot of people in America I had conversations with? They said that America would never, ever become a socialist communist country. My goodness, we have one of the greatest presidents in our lifetime, my opinion, and we have a socialist communist agenda happening right before our very eyes. And that, that whole socialist agenda is part of BLM and antifa they're all part of it and they're trying to usher it in you know under the under the cloak of the democrat party i mean i call them democrats this this is my opinion on them just because yeah. of the stuff they support i'm not i'm not sure if you pronounced that correctly but i won't correct you <laughs> no I, I i i pronounced it correctly it is it is the democrat party just because of what they support well you're terrific Tell people how they can find you, would you please? 
So if you want to find me for all of my social media, everything, just go to uniteamericafirst.com and you can find everything there. Thanks for joining us today. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks for joining us on ATP Report. Remember, take out your cell phone when you get a minute, type the word truth in the message and send it to 88202-88202. You'll be signed up for our text message service. It's always free. You'll get our various episodes and all of our content on your cell phone and you don't have to do anything other than look down in your hand. It'll be right there every day. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Newsbaum. Thank <laughs> you.